topic of the last few couple shows, opportunities. Uh, there's always opportunity in trucking. We identified one, took advantage of it uh, to better service our owner operators and, and everything we have to offer. Uh, Mike, let's let them know about what we're doing, man. Right, so we pretty much bought a service trailer. That's right, guys. That's going to be uh, uh, quite a bit of expense. So far, we, what, like $6,000 into the trailer. Uh, we're probably a couple thousand dollars into some tools that we already got just for that trailer. Yep. Uh, so it's probably going to, by the time it's going to be done, it's probably going to be at around $12,000 altogether of, you know, uh, slow return investment towards our customers, towards our owner operators, towards better business opportunities. Yeah, I mean, because we're preaching it all the time, owner operators, investing your business, investing your business. Uh, you know, we got we got to be doing the same. Yeah. So, um, you know, if if, uh, if it takes a little bit of money to, to improve a process, then we're, we're, we're definitely going to consider it for sure. Uh, not to mention that it looks pretty good, man. This is black on black, and I think yeah, it's going to look tight, man. Yeah, as a matter of fact, we think, like, white is Florida's color for vehicles Yeah, because it keeps it cool and so on. But because, because of our uh, regular work truck is black already, uh, we, we actually had the black trailer. So we're, kind of, we're going to be able to match it up. So right now we're just peeling off the stickers uh, of the of the Tundra, and now we're gonna try to match the trailer with a Tundra because at the end of the day, when you roll in and you represent Voyager, you gotta you, look good. You gotta look good. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta well, look cool. Well, that's a good challenge, man. Your artistic creativity. Because remember, guys, we got video out there. If you ever seen it, we do our own decaling and stuff like that. So um, definitely challenging, but I think it'll be a pretty cool project, man. Yeah, that's gonna that's gonna be pretty pretty exciting but i agree challenging because i i don't have no artistic qualities that's for sure no, so maybe maybe band heads has some or something. i don't know let's see how this turns out <laughs> so <laughs> and, and for those who have tons of questions as well like about how the program works and what actually the service truck will be and will not be doing um you know so pretty much the service truck is meant to to do the road service around here mm -hmm. around where we at if uh, you know if we have any trailers down or whatnot that's that truck is going to take care of that also that truck is going to be able to travel from here to the to the drop lot and take care of the trailers there so that's going to save owner operator of the trip to come here drop for, for a service or whatnot we're going to be able to go there also now that we're working on some of those you know uh, customer projects but we're gaining customers we we adding them on and we have trailers dropped all over different locations right which is not right here in lakeland some of them are where in gainesville and some something in miami something somewhere else Davenport, so multiple areas we have our trailers dropped and the problem with drop trailers you cannot expect the same quality of, as an owner operator when you arrive to the drop lot you can expect that some things may be wrong like for example once we got a, a landing gear handle stolen not stolen. Well, stolen. Yeah. Re uh, replaced. Because our, our landing gear was, like, brand new. And we did find, like, an old piece of crap that was <laughs> twisted up. A toothpick. <laughs> yeah. So, so you know, to have a trailer like this is going to be helpful because we're going to be able to roll out. And we're going to have some parts, tools, and everything else. And get there three times as fast as anybody else, you know. especially Three times as fast. Also, more cost effective. Mm -hmm. And also better service, yeah. because now I don't have to worry about you know talking so, to some after hour schmuck you know from some uh, no man's uh, truck repair service. Dead end repair service. Yeah, dead end repair service. Now I can talk to Ryan and hey, what's up? What's going on? What do we have here? This is what needs to be done, and and here we go. So different level of uh, trust and uh, everything else. So definitely for sure exciting, man. We're excited to see how this turns out, uh, how it's going to evolve and all that. So we definitely could put energy and effort on it, um, you know, and everything. I, I also think it's going to help us to gain customers because now what the customer is going to see. The customer is going to see that if there is any issue, this company is very quick to respond. We come in with a, with a company name on their service truck. So that also gives them peace of mind of who's in the yard. Do yeah. we have to watch these people? Are we, are we there to repair trucks or trailers, or are we there to steal shit? Yeah, and then they'll work with you. I mean, a lot of times they'll see you there, and if it's a, sometimes it could be probably maybe something more major than what anticipated. But once they start seeing your results driven, I think a line of communication opens up where they're like, okay, they're more willing to work with you than if you did nothing. Absolutely. So, so it's about relationship building at that point as well. Yep. All right.
So here we go. Exciting times. Uh, you know, thanks to owner operators making it all possible. Uh, thanks for being part of the process and, uh, and engaging and, and being diligent. And for those who want to join the process, definitely give me a call. 863-342-5171. Uh, learn more about what we do. Yeah, we're right here in Lakeland, Florida. Actually, Mulberry, Florida, even better than Lakeland, Florida. Of course. Mm -hmm. Nicer and everything else. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, we are right here, so swing by, talk to us, uh, give us a call, talk to Christian, and uh, let's do some business together. And let's stay tuned for more updates, and uh, maybe when we get our very first service call, when it's nice and ready, we take everybody with us. Yeah, as long as Ryan's not too shy about it. Oh, yeah. All right, guys, we'll talk to you soon. Drive safe out there. Take care, guys. All right, guys, this is what we were talking about, the exciting news, I guess pre-construction. Uh, we're organizing everything in this trailer to make sure everything is lined up and we're effective. Obviously got the compressor, the battery, toolboxes, so we still don't have the entire diagram of what it's gonna look like. Ryan's working on that, but stay tuned for more videos. And remember, you're gonna come along with us on our very first service call, so stay tuned for that as well.